put it here, and here is the, as you say, Wizarding World crate for November. It is currently, um, the, uh, 4th of December, but at least it's not the 15th. So, uh, obviously I took the sticker off, I placed it over here, but here it is. Though sadly, as you can see, it actually, part of this was, uh, covered up by the address there, which was annoying, so I painstakingly, like, you know, smeared the sticky bits off, but I like keeping these at least intact, because obviously I put them as part of my thumbnail, and I keep them, because I like stickers. Not that I can use them for anything, because they don't really have much sticking on them, but anyway, let's move on. Ooh. If I look at it sideways, there are snake heads. Um, so I'm guessing since the, uh, the sticker was the door to the Chamber of Secrets, then I'm guessing it has to do with that, I hope. So let's see what it is. Ooh. Um, okay, so we have the shirt first. Wow. It is very... Sinister looking Deathly Hollows version. See, there's the whole triangle with the circle and, you know, wand. There is the resurrection stone in the middle there. And like, I guess that would be like Death's uh, cloak there, sort of, like with Death right here. And his cloak that he's wrapped around in, and his wand here, and the resurrection stuff. But obviously, it's pretty cool, actually. But it's uh, uh, what am I trying to say anyway? It still looks like Death Color symbol with the triangle, circle, and the line, basically. But it is more of a cooler version. Kind of a bit creepy, but still pretty cool. Move this off to the side. Well, at least I gotta say, at least the battery uh, died after I finished rambling, I think. Anyway, so that was the shirt. Okay, we have an umbrella. Wow, that looks. And it's got a button. I don't. Mm, oh, it's actually got a little thing you can like strap it on. It's got its own strap too. And it's auto open 42 inches. And I don't think I have really much room in here unless I, you know, open it. Um, I open some, you know, up towards the end, but you should never open the umbrellas and doors anyway, unless you're airing them out like like we do in the laundry room. We're outside. But anyway, this is what it looks like. It has all of the house crests, uh, twice. You know? So it's, uh, like, you know, symmetrical and whatever. So it looks like it's got lightning bolts, too. So yeah, that is pretty cool. And the, uh, the little carry sleeve thing is pretty cool as well. And as I said before, it is auto-open, and it's Hmm, it retails at twelve dollars. How about that? Well, many things don't normally come with a price on these things. But obviously, as you can see, it is officially licensed as everything is in this box. But uh, anyway, that was pretty cool. An umbrella. Though I technically don't use umbrellas much because I can't really walk or ride with an umbrella while pushing my chair or when I'm in my chair, I kind of poke people with them, you know. Um, what next? Now, let me just see what the theme was. Oh, Legends and Lore. Every story holds a bit of truth, especially in the Wizarding World. Join us in exploring the dark legends, enchanting history, and magical artifacts that make up its fabled foundation. 
Wow. So, so far we did the shirt and the umbrella. Oh, it looks like we could have had two different umbrellas. Interesting. Anyway, um, Destiny Hollow's t-shirt. Um, the Elder Wand, Resurrection Stone, and the Cloak of Invisibility. Together, they form Deathly Hollows and make one the Master of Death. At least, that's how the story goes. You'll be anything but invisible in this exclusive key. And all of them are exclusive except for the umbrella. It's, the umbrella is pretty cool. And it's pretty. It has a pretty heavy weight to it, too. But, um... It is pretty cool that it also has, like, this, uh... Hooky bit. You can, I don't know, hook it to things. Um... Anyway, talking about the umbrella, Hogwarts umbrella, there is no need to cast a weather modifying charm when you've got this handy umbrella. You receive one of two legendary designs, Hogwarts House Crest or the Marauders map. So, uh, one of either of those. Which I'm pretty fine with the House Crest. I don't really mind. I mean, I've got a mug, but the Marauders map anyway. So this is... The mirror of air is there. And it seems to be an actual mirror. It's, uh... 2 point... I mean, 4.25 inches in height and 2.5 inches in width. By the looks of it. And I think I've seen this in a like a US exclusive box of some sort. Like mystery box type thing. I'm not really sure. But I think I saw it on YouTube, but that is pretty cool. There's the camera. And this is magnet, magnetic. So that's very handy. So let's see. The only other thing I have magnetic in here is my whiteboard and my filing cabinet. Nothing else is magnetic in here. But maybe my pole. I don't know. Um. Anyway, I won't really be able to stick this anywhere in here. I mean, it's like a bathroom thing too. But uh, eh, made in China. Um, yes. Hello. Oh yeah. It's not. Yeah. It is pretty cool. Like, it's, it's nicely made, anyway. It's got a very, I don't know what to call it, rustic feel to it. <laughs> but it's very cool. this in here for now, so I don't get the mirror you know, dirty or anything, you know, if I can pull it over the thing pointy bits, come on, okay, pointy bits on, I guess it becomes a styrofoam in here. I'm not really sure what that's for, but I'm guessing it's like to put here so nothing um, damage. Anyway, that is pretty cool. A magnetic mirror. The very said. So that is pretty cool. Uh, let's see, mirror there said mirror. They could have just said mirror though, they said mirror magnet, magnet or whatever. Anyway, <clears throat> this enchanted mirror shows the deepest and most desperate desire of our hearts. Though the truly happy will see only their own reflection. What do you see? Well, considering it's an actual mirror. Hmm. Anyway, um, we'll do the pin last. 
because that's, you know, the favorite part. Good. If you want to have a look-see, it is Salazar's face down there, I believe. If we, uh, make things fall over. We turn it this way. Let's see, Salazar's face in the basilisk. Where are the chamber ends? Though if I ever get a Funko Pop of uh, Tom Riddle and Harry, I can, I can do a little picture with them there. And like a little Ginny lying on the floor. Anyway, um, that, that's actually a good idea. I might do that. I might even keep the box. So I'm not sure if I'm going to keep the box. I kept other boxes, but I'm not sure. Anyway, that's, you know, just, just an idea. Um, okay, so we'll do the stuff. Dropping anything. Come on. Let's just put this here. Okay, so this will go in a second. Ooh, this is different. It has Wizarding World on it instead of Harry Potter. Okay. This is in a tissue paper envelope. That's very flimsy. Okay. Um, next we have... But it seems to be Prince. Ooh, that's pretty cool. Okay. Here we have... Godric Gryffindor. Hogwarts House Prince. Godric Gryffindor. Oh, the Hufflepuff. Where are you from? And Salazar Slytherin made history when they founded Hogwarts in 1990 AD. Keep that history alive with your respective house portrait watching over you. So it's very nice that they included all of them. So here's Hogwarts. Hot I mean, a Ravenclaw, when technically it's supposed to be an eagle, but that looks more like a raven. Though, it is more of an eagle type of mouth. I mean, beak, though, isn't it? I have no idea. But it's supposed to be an eagle. The loads and loads of merch show a silhouette of a raven instead. Which is pretty amusing, when, yeah. And my house. Slytherin. Snake's creepy, but. And the fangs are pretty. Well. Large. But anyway. And obviously, all of them on the bottom have the Hogwarts. Uh. What was that? The. Hogwarts War War War. Um, it's not logo, it's... Motto, yes, that's the word. Motto. What was it again? Never, never take home a sleeping dragon or something? I'm rusty. Okay, so that is those. It's pretty cool prints. Not really sure what to do with them. But, uh, yeah. I guess a normal person would put them in, um... Them in, uh, what, what are they called? Frames, yes, those. But, uh, I don't really have frames in my room. I mean, I've got two frames. Technically, I only actually have two frames in this room, though, actually. Now that I think about it. First frame was a family picture, and the last frame was a cross stitch of Mr. Darcy I did. Okay, anyway, moving on. It's totally irrelevant, really. This so is real. It's two come back in. Made in China, as most things are. Exclusive. 
but it was nice they updated these from, you know, the normal Harry Potter to the uh, official logo of everything. Okay, so, it is, let's see what, ooh, it says Phoenix. This is a department for the regulation and control of magical creatures. Cool. That's very nice. And it's embossed too, by the way. But and this is the Phoenix. It's pretty cool. Well, it's got less tail feathers than I thought it would, to be honest. <laughs> but still, it is pretty cool. I mean, you think it had like, you know, thing, but it's kind of, you know, I guess on fire, so. Anyway, it is pretty cool. It has more of a, like a goldish metal, like, shine to it instead of like a silver one some other ones have. And if you look real closely, I don't know if you can see it, but it's slightly glittery, which is awesome. I love my glitter type of uh, stuff, just don't like touching the glitter, so it's nice that this doesn't come out. But I don't know if you can really say the glitterness of it, but it is glittery, which is awesome. So anyways, so yeah, that, that's it. Thing. Um, I might as well read it out. Yep. <clears throat> Foxpin. Fox the Phoenix saved Harry Potter's life in the Chamber of Secrets with his healing tears. Honor Dumbledore's royal animal companion with the next pin in our Magical Creatures series. Oh yeah, I guess the first pin in the Magical Creatures series would be Hedwig that we got last time. I guess, I guess it would be magical, right? The post owl, when they're trained magically. Do they start off as normal hours? Do they breathe them? Hmm. Anyway. Fox is a very nice addition for the second pin of the series. Really a sparkly dude, man. Anyway, yes. And then. So, so which do you like best? Because the pin is cool, the mirror is cool, the shirt's pretty cool, the umbrella is very useful. Because, I mean, in Wales it rains all the time. And the prints are pretty cool, not that I know where to put them. I mean, I could even, I guess I could, I don't know. I don't really know, really. It's more of the collective thing, so I could think do like, you know, Instagram pictures with it, I'm not sure. But anyway, yes, that is, you know. That's all. <laughs> and what do you know? If you notice, nothing's missing. So that's nice. So a total of five items, which is very nice. And yeah. It's not really much else to say about this. So let's see. Oh yes, the uh, the how to order and whatever, whatever. I'll leave as a series of pictures at the end. You know, like right now. In when I, you know, say bye. So I'll say bye now. <laughs> I'm not really sure what else to say. Um. So yeah. So leave a comment. Which is your favorite? Like, which do you like best? So, do you think the boss? box is worth like, um, what is it, 39 pounds? So, um, yeah, so that's it, so, thank you for watching, like, subscribe for more, ring that doorbell for notifications, very nice.